Hello and welcome to the Canvas How To for Students video at Glen Oaks Community College. In this video, we would like to show you how to get to Canvas, how to sign in to Canvas, what to do if you have sign in issues. Um, we want to show you the Canvas orientation course and encourage you to take that course. We're going to show you what you should do if you need help with Canvas. And lastly, we're going to request pretty please that you give us some feedback on this video to make sure it's doing what it needs to do for our students. Okay, let's get started. You can see um, we're on the college's website's homepage right now. To find Canvas, simply go over here and hover over online services and you'll see this drop down menu. Canvas is the very first item here, so that's what you would click on. But first, let's go make sure our credentials work. Um, so let's go, there's two different places we could go, MyGOCC or WebAdvisor. Let's go to MyGOCC. And I'm going to use my username and password. This is the same username and password that you use for pretty much everything here at Glen Oaks. And then just confirm that I can sign in. I was able to sign in, so no problem. As long as I'm here, let me show you this. This is where you can change your password within MyGOCC. Okay, so we've confirmed that I can sign in. Let's go back to the college's homepage. Um, and let's talk about if you're a new student who has never signed in before um, and what to do if you have even more trouble with your password. So I'm clicking on WebAdvisor, um, and I'm doing this especially if you're a new student and you've never signed in before. Here are login instructions. This is a place, a link to go to for login instructions. And it takes you to this page. This page walks you through how to sign in, especially if you're signing in for the first time. And it tells you exactly what the formula is for determining your username. And it also tells you exactly what the formula is for determining your initial sign-in password. Once you sign in with this password, by the way, you will be prompted immediately to generate your own password, to change this password. So be ready for that. All right, back to the home page. What if you're having trouble signing in, you can't get anything to work, and it's driving you nuts? Um, here's another thing that you can do. Go down here to Password Reset and click on that. That takes you to this page, which has in writing walking you through how to reset your password, and it has a nice YouTube video showing you how to reset your password. And then the link over here, and if we click on that, then we are taking taken to the reset my password tool. Here you just put in your last name and either your social, your college ID. Those are things only you should know. And you will get a new password emailed to you that you will then have to copy and paste as your password to get signed in. And again, you will be prompted immediately to generate a new password for yourself that you can remember. And that is how to deal with password issues. Let me go back to the home page. And again, from the college's homepage, let's go over to Canvas. So I'm going to click on Canvas. And this is what you should see when you're at Canvas for Glen Oaks. Canvas works with different schools, and every school's sign-on page looks different. For the Glen Oaks Canvas sign-in page, you should obviously see the, the title of the school here, Glen Oaks Community College. And you should see the um, logo for Glen Oaks, and you should see this green color on the side. If it doesn't look like Glen Oaks is Canvas, then don't don't try and sign into it. Um, and before I leave here, I'm going to go ahead and put in my password and such. But before I leave, here's another recommendation, especially for new students. You should bookmark this page just in case. And I say just in case because it's very rare, but sometimes the college's website might go down. And then you wouldn't be able to get the Canvas from the home page. But if you have Canvas bookmarked, even if the college's web page is having a problem, you can just go to that bookmark and come in here and sign in. It also makes it makes it more efficient often. Okay, so I've got my credentials in. Let's go ahead and log into Canvas. First place you'll go in Canvas is always the dashboard. And the dashboard can have different appearances, but the default is this card view. Each one of these squares, these cards, as Canvas calls them, that's one of your classes. And to get to the orientation class, which is the next subject, 
Just scroll down until you find this class. Canvas orientation is what the card says. Um, and then click on that class. And this is what you see, what you should see when you get to the inside. The title is a little weird because of the way my browser is right now. There we go. Introduction to Distance Learning in Canvas. That's the title of the course. I'm going to go ahead and put my browser back where it was. Um, <clears throat> it's, the introduction here tells you what this class is about, and it tells you how to get started. But basically, to get started, you want to click on um, the modules. And modules is over here in this navigation. Click on modules. And what a module is, it is, I think of it as a little electronic envelope. And as an instructor, I can put materials in here for a given unit of a class, maybe a chapter in a textbook or whatever it is. I can produce web pages for my students to read. I can include links in here, um, in this case to a document. And then I can also put assessments in here like quizzes or whatever it is I, I want my students to do when they're studying that unit. But anyway, that's what a module is. This particular class is not very long. It's only three modules and the last one's very short. And what this class does is it walks you through how to use Canvas. There's a lot of good information in here. And again, it doesn't take very long. So I highly recommend that you go through the entire course so that you are well versed and know how to use Canvas well before you get into your actual classes. That is the orientation course. Um, the next major subject is what if you're having trouble with Canvas? What if there's something in Canvas that you haven't learned how to do yet and you need to know how to do it, for example? Um, there's a couple of different things you can do, and I'll show you the first one, the one that I recommend because it's helped me the most. Come over here to what's called the Global Navigation menu in Canvas and look for Help at the bottom. Click on that. And then I recommend going up here and clicking on Search the Canvas Guides. There are other things you can do here. You can actually call Canvas. You can report a problem in Canvas and, and such. But I recommend going to this um, Search the Canvas Guides first. So let me show you that. All right, so now we're on the Canvas Guides. This is a website that Canvas runs. And let me show you an example of something to do. Let's see, how do I, whoops, how, how do I take a quiz? Hit enter and I'm searching for that. And notice we've got all of these possible links for different pages within the guide to walk us through how to do whatever it is we were looking for. This one looks good. How do I take a quiz? It's pretty much what I was asking. So let's click on that one. And what I really want to show you here is obviously they have words to read that you can walk through it with. And they also snag images off of Canvas to show you exactly what quick to click on. So if it's a quiz, you could search for the quiz in quizzes if you don't find it in the module. And then this is what you see when you open quizzes. They show you a nice picture of it. What an individual quiz should look like what you click on to go take the quiz, and then what to do while you're taking the quiz and such. Um, notice, by the way, that you can see the list of questions up here as well as see the question over here. Uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is um, sometimes people will stop and like, okay, I know I just got to go click on that quiz and then go get started, and, I, and then they go. And you could do that, um, but I recommend if you've, if you've gone ahead and taken the time to open this guide, go ahead and at least skim through the rest of it because you might learn something interesting. For example, this question that the person's working on here, if they don't know the answer right away and it's not coming to them and they don't want to waste any more time on it right now, they could flag that question by clicking over here. And what that will do is later when they're done with the quiz, they can see inside of this area which of those questions were flagged and they can come back to those questions later. Um, you might find that useful. Again, there's little tidbits that you might be able to learn as you go through. Um, so make sure you read the whole guide. All right, that's, so that's one place to do a search. A place that you're probably really used to searching is useful too. So let's go to Google. And you can search for how to do stuff on Canvas. Um, how do I submit? Oh, I started this one. There we go. How do I submit an online assignment in Canvas? If you're searching in Google, by the way, I highly recommend that you actually put the word Canvas in there. Otherwise, you might get instructions for how to use a different learning management system like Blackboard or something like that. So make sure you put Canvas in there. Notice the first thing that came up was directly from that community guide or the Canvas community. Um, if you know how Google works, 
the most useful things usually come up first. That gives you an idea of how useful that community is. But as long as we're here, I want to show you something else. There are tons of videos out there. This one is actually within that Canvas community guide. Um, and then there's other videos on YouTube. Those videos for how to use Canvas that are found on YouTube are made by all kinds of people. Sometimes students make them, sometimes instructors make them, sometimes people who work for colleges make them, etc. Um, you can find lots of videos to help you with Canvas. And what I do is if I'm looking to do something on Canvas and I'm looking on YouTube, I'll find a video and start watching it. If I don't like that video for whatever reason, I'll go find another one that speaks to me better. I hope that makes sense. But feel free to do a search on YouTube or on uh, Google. But again, make sure you specify that it's for Canvas. And that's how you get help in those digital ways. And I recommend those first, by the way, because um, at least I prefer to use them because then I don't have to wait for anybody to get, to get back to me or anything. But what if you want to get help here at Glen Oaks from somebody here? We have a really nice lady who works for us. Her name is Julie Cotton. I'll put up her information. She is our digital solutions administrator here at the college, and she's paid to help you with Canvas. So that's another person that you can get a hold of directly to be able to help you with Canvas. And I think we've covered everything. Um, we've covered how to get to Canvas. We've covered how to sign into Canvas. We've covered how to get help when you're having problems signing in. Um, we've covered the Canvas orientation course, and I will just reaffirm, please go through that course. It'll help make sure that Canvas is not what slows you down in your regular classes. You'll know how to use Canvas well. Um, and we showed you where to go for help for Canvas, both online and here at Glen Oaks. So that's it. The last thing I want to ask you is please um, give us some feedback down below in this video so that we can assure that this video is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And if you have a critique for this video, a way that we can make this video better for students, please share that so that we can make things better down the road. Thank you for watching.